Alright, what's up? I am going to roll through some of these Anabolics Anonymous um, questions real quick. We got Homeboy says he is highly sensitive to Clomid. What other alternatives for PCT? That's like asking um, how many different ways are there to feed my child? Your PCT is going to depend on what you're taking um, or what your fish frog monkey mouse serve through spider cricket takes. Um, it could be that you need a dopamine agonist because you've been taking a DHT um, hormone or you might need a um, to reboot your testosterone levels because you've been taking test or test steroids or derivatives for X number of years, or you could need nothing at all because you've been taking SARMs for six weeks and then taking time off, allowing your um, endocrine system to reboot. So maybe you're not sensitive to Clomid. Maybe you were taking SARMs and then took Clomid and had no need for it and it just did what Clomid does. Honestly, there's a million different answers to that question. Generally speaking, if someone has taken like test for 10 weeks, then they need a Clomid or a Novadex post-cycle therapy. Um, let's say Nova, for instance, is 40-40-20-20. Um, That's 40 milligrams per week or per day for two weeks. That's your 40-40. Okay, and then 20 milligrams of 20 milligrams a day of your Novadex for two weeks. This being a four week post cycle therapy, what that does is it will actually reduce the estrogen in the body so that the estrogen was high along with your testosterone being high, your estrogen came up to match. You abruptly stop the testosterone and the estrogen is still there. Well, you've got to get that back down. On the other end of the scale, when you drive estrogen very low, then it is made up for with test coming back, which means your nuts kind of start to work again. If you've been taking AAS too long, then you will need a um, HCG. Something HCG is a mimic of LH. And what that does is it tells the nuts to start producing test again. You have to have a estrogen blocker or at least a partial blocker like a, um, an AI because half of your HCG is going to turn into estrogen instead of the LH forcing production of testosterone. Don't ask me why, it's just the way life is. Now, if you're taking a SARM that is fitting in the receptor that testosterone would fit in, if you've taken the normal dosage for a 200 pound, let's say saber tooth fish frog monkey mouse in my case, if you take it for six weeks, then stop for at least a week your test levels will come back fast enough on your research animal because these are not for human consumption um, it will come back fast enough to maintain your muscle and then you switch compounds so you don't develop a tolerance to a particular compound and then you can continue to build muscle while negating the side effects of shutdown and suppression now your SARMs that can do this, which are also not liver and kidney toxic for the most part. Some of them are, YK11 is liver toxic. Now, it doesn't matter because you're using this in research instances, not on yourself. But, furthermore, your PCT will consist from a SARM, if you take it longer than 10 weeks, it is a selective antigen receptor modulator, not a PPAR agonist, or not a um, 
growth hormone secretagogue or a REBERB agonist, which is SR9009, your growth hormone secretagogues, MK677. Your GW5156 is a PPARB agonist, I think. Anyway, those aren't SARMs. There's no PCT from those. Um, in the case that you take a SARM in too high amounts or you take one that shuts you down for some reason that just happens to some people, then what you would want to do is get you a bottle of Test Up from Neuroids.com. That's going to be your best bet to reboot your testicles to producing testosterone and it brings sex drive up like crazy. This stuff is fucking awesome. Um, let's say that you need to PCT from a DHT like Trimbolin. Well now we have to have something to reboot testosterone because it's going to shut you down like your Clomid, your Novodex, possibly HCG, but you also have to add a dopamine agonist, okay, like Prammy. The reason being is when your dopamine levels or something that is acting as dopamine in your body, like Trim, gets very high, then it shoves prolactin away where prolactin comes up to compensate for the amount of dopamine in the system. When you abruptly stop trend, and like when you abruptly stop test, you get gynecomastia. When you abruptly stop trend or DECA, then the possibility of you producing milk because prolactin levels are so high is present. So you not only get gyno, but you get the kind of gyno where you can feed your freaking kid. So in order to stop that from happening or to prevent that, one would need a dopamine agonist to include in their post-cycle therapy with their Novodex and their test up and possibly their HCG. God, I hope you follow that. So I think that covered everything. Now, if you were to also have oral steroids that you were taking, now you need something to help rebuild the liver to compensate for the liver damage and possibly the kidneys if you weren't drinking enough water. So now you need some kidney cleanse from Neuroids.com, some MSM plus C for absorption and breaking everything down and detoxification. Furthermore, you're going to need also a... Um, IP6 with milk thistle, or you're going to need a, uh, excuse me, my wife is calling, she's just going to head away, um, your IS3 to boost the immune system. Now, if you're one of those people that get test flu, then you're probably going to want to throw in some IS3 in the beginning as to negate the test flu issue. I think that covers, oh, and if you have become immune to, you know, like the use of them, I3C with DM to cleanse your receptors. If you just want to get this shit completely out of your body, I3C with DM to cleanse receptors. That stuff has been, it works so well that it actually helps people on chemotherapy to keep their appetite and not lose their hair. Now, everything I say here, nothing I say here has been evaluated by the FDA, the ATF, NBC, ABC, CBS. It's not for human consumption. And if you are taking it, then it has to be under a professional's um, care. Um, I'll put a disclaimer at the bottom. I think that covers that one question on AA. I, will, I meant to get to like five or six, but... It's already been nine minutes. I can talk forever. I hope that covered all PCTs in that. I'll just share this video next time somebody asks about PCT. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Love you. Peace.